I would like to greet all the participants of this year Lacuna Festival 2021 International Contemporary Art Festival with this year 10 distance. Uh, I'm Elena Koyinska, an artist based in Lviv, Ukraine. I work in a pure art or naive art technique paired together with a deep philosophical and psychological senses. Uh, my fields of research are finding of the inner peace, post-trauma recovery, uh, the inborn human loving kindness and love as a driving force of the universe. Uh, I've spent several years forced to ritual researchers and I asked questions to myself and to the world and passionately looked for answers. Monasteries and priests, uh, gurus and teachers of spiritual practices, mountain magicians and witches, uh, Buddhist monks and Hindu sacrificers with ritual bloody swords. I went literally everywhere to find someone to tell me uh, what is here, why we are here and why here is like it is. And after several years, I came back home with the feeling that nobody can tell me uh, the answers and I should find them myself and within myself uh, through some kind of activity. And I started to look for the activity which would bring me inside uh, where the grain of truth is rooted and I found out that I can go to this very deeply layered place inside of myself through paintings. Uh, my paintings, dreams, take the observer inside uh, to the subconscious, to the core. Uh, trying to find the inner self, the observer wanders through the imaginary world, fantastic forests filled with symbolic images and archetypical symbols, inhabited with mysterious creatures, each of which provide a guide to the final destination, our heart. My aim is to make people happier and I participated in 40 plus exhibitions, contemporary art festivals uh, and art residencies and I exhibited three uh, full-scale uh, personal projects. My paintings are kept in museum funds and private collections of United States, Germany, Turkey and Ukraine. Uh, my paintings show the endlessness of obvious and unobvious relationships in this world with the help of mysterious storylines with the metaphysical sense. Being the guide between the worlds, I mix reality and magic in a genuine med meditative form of my witchcraft. Direct asceticism of the flat surface, surfaces, completeness and persuasiveness of the composition seamless static, graphical coding of the deep sense into the schematic images, order and rhythm of the paintings focus the observer's attention of what is underneath. I speak with my world in the language of colors and form and the feeling of the paint and brush is my pleasant addictions. Uh, the patience I require for the long hours of uh, repetitive actions transforms into the intense energy and the joy of discovery of what I've created. Uh, when I start painting I go as if with my eyes closed and find out what the story about only after I put the finishing touches. Uh, Storylines of my paintings uh, come to me on their own, often inspired by books. Milorad Pavic, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Alessandro Barico, Bruno Schulz, and uh, feel that in a well where the images of the future paintings come from. Self-taught as I am, I've never dreamed that my passion and admiration for painting would turn into the way of life, would give meaning to my life. Uh, I want to return the observers to the pure, sincere and spontaneous experience of the outer world which we all had in our childhood. Children observe the world as it is, directly, without thinking. My paintings are childishly simple, simple and straightforward. They help recall the child's state of trust and safety, uh, the state of interest in the world around, the state of fabulousness and love, as if you are being held uh, in hands and to told a fairy tale. When we manage to recall this fundamental state and restore the feeling of trust and pureness, 
uh, the world starts showing us it's the most awesome sight. My paintings are portals of returning to the child's pure state of mind and to the joy of being. Uh, my surrealistic paintings are paired with uh, strong philosophical explaining narratives to provide the observer uh, the complete understanding of the notions uh, I want to convey and the feelings I want to express. I collect the ideas from many different sources. Sometimes I read a book and catch a phrase uh, which I want to turn into the visual image. Like when I read the memoirs of Marina Abramovich walks through walls, I found the phrase uh, building the abyss under the bridge is the task of the most advanced builders or when I speak with a friend and he tells a phrase uh, an inexhaustible source of inexhaustible sources enough to have the understanding of the full deepness of this notion I begin to meditate on it and find the visual imagery and symbols to convey it and make it visually perceptible sometimes I want to convey a feeling like safety or extreme loneliness or panic attack or deep attachment to somebody or loss uh, then I have to meditate on this feeling to travel very deep into my subconscious to find the visual corresponding to the feeling or emotion currently I'm working on the project trauma inspired by the many mental health problems which people experience due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the constraint isolation and distancing Trauma is an influence exceeding the compensatory powers of the body. As a result of this influence, something gets broken, gets torn, disappears or changes its form. Trauma is freezing. It immobilizes, paralyzes, fragments the world. After the trauma remain only the wreckages of a person's familiar world. Trauma separates a person from their body, takes away the feeling of safety, the possibility to feel and set their boundaries, communicate with the society on the rights of its valid part. Trauma remains with the person forever. Even when the trauma is healed, the scar remains after it, which is perceptible, which hurts and speaks. After the trauma, a person remains incomplete, isolated from the environment, transparent, and a person shuts down all emotions in an attempt to somehow put themselves together. The trauma, which is timely cured and mourned over, can be healed faster. It's terrifying to mourn over the trauma. This means to reveal your vulnerability. Uh, this other side of a person is being carefully camouflaged and hidden in everyday battle. This side has remained from the deep childhood, but it didn't turn into the rudiment. This side has come deeper into another dimension, into the space of unconscious behind the line. Trauma is closely linked with shame. Survivors feel that they are responsible for the terrible things that happen to them. They feel unworthy of care and attention. They feel themselves as a disgusting mess. To overcome your shame you need to pay a heavy price, to tell your secret. Every secret wants to be told. Dead bodies do not want to rest in their graves until their stories are told. Pre-narrative about the trauma is the first step to the healing. One needs to rethink the trauma, to feel the present and pave their way into the future. Uh, trauma carries a conflict in itself. A person wants to protest against the trauma and put it on the back burner and at the same time to speak about it and release it, to speak about the unspoken. Uh, to do this one needs to feel safe. Trust to mourn over. Uh, the only healthy way to deal with trauma is to reach out and hold each other. Then calmed and strengthened we can walk out into the world. But firstly we need to be able to grasp a catastrophic event and shape it into a coherent story one that makes sense out of chaos and regain control over our world. And people do not choose to get traumatized. Trauma enters a person's life by itself, leaving only one choice, to live over, to overcome, to mourn over and to narrate about. There, were, there are several types of traumas. Traumas of the body, traumas of the psycho, 
traumas of a family, traumas of a society. Children dwell on the past of their parents to fully understand what they've been through. Children don't let themselves to be happy until they take over the pain of their parents. And trauma will never be fully cured. Recovery will never be complete. Losses and scars will remain forever. The spiral of panic and insecurity will come back over and over again. Trauma's echoes are too loud. People who outlived and cured their tra trauma resemble the plates glued with gold. Uh, the project Trauma was cons will consist of 25 big format paintings, acrylic of paint on canvas, each of them accompanied by descriptive narratives. Uh, the paintings will be speaking about the various types of traumas, lockdown and lack of communication trauma, loss trauma, neglection trauma, depression trauma, uh, physical trauma, immo immobilization trauma, distance trauma, isolation trauma, and the ways to overcome and overlive these traumas. The paintings will be symbolic, archetypical and easy to perceive. They will evoke associations, general feelings and convey the states we all live in today. Some of the paintings for the project are finished and three of them I submitted for the participation in Lacuna Festival 2021 International Contemporary Art Festivals as they deeply correspond with this year's theme of the festival distance. Some of other of them are in progress and some of them are planned. And behind my back you can see some small piece of this project paintings which are finished now. And thank you very much for listening and for your attention. See you all at Lacuna Festival.